Let me now come to the theological aspect of the talk for tonight. The word Islam is derived from the root Arabic words salam and silm. Salam meaning peace and silm meaning submission. As such, Islam would mean peace acquired by submitting your will to the will of the Creator, to the will of the Almighty God, Allah. Thus, a person who accepts Islam or who wants to submit his will to the will of the Creator, the Almighty God, he is referred as a Muslim, meaning a person who submitted his will to the will of the Creator, the Almighty God, Allah. Many people have a misconception that Islam is a religion which began with the advent of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 14 centuries ago. But I say, it's a very grave misconception. Let me clarify, what does the Quran say about the concept of messengerhood and the concept of the religion? The Holy Quran very rightly records in the glorious Quran in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 24. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there was never a nation, but a warner had passed among them. It's further mentioned in Surah Raad, chapter number 13, verse number 7. To all the communities, to all the tribes, there has been a guide. It's further mentioned in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 164. Almighty God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to you we have mentioned the names and stories of some of the messengers, and the others we haven't mentioned. In the glorious Quran, there are 25 messengers who are named. In one of the hadiths of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the sayings of the Prophet, peace be upon him, which are not the part of the Quran, but which are called as hadiths, the sayings and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. He mentioned that there are more than a hundred thousand messengers who came before Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which makes it very clear that Islam is a religion that did not begin with Prophet Muhammad. Rather, let us see where did it start and end. I would say, and I'm ready to take it on, that Islam began with the first man and his step on earth, Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. Because if you ask Adam, peace be upon him, what religion does he follow? If he's a person of God, if he's a person who believes in God, he would for surely say, I would like to live the life according to the will of the Creator. In Arabic, that is what is called Islam. Let us now look further. What happens if there are so many messengers? Why were they and what is the purpose? Does it mean that God sent so many messengers to create so many religions? That's not the purpose. The Quran very well clarifies that all the previous messengers, they were sent to their people. And they were, their teachings were meant for a period of time. As we all, the Muslims and the Christians both agree, that Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, was sent to the Jews, to the children of Israel. And his teachings were restricted to that period of time. That is why there was a need of another messenger after him. The Quran speaks about Jesus, peace be upon him. It says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 49, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we will make Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, the son of Mother Mary, a messenger to the children of Israel. A similar message is mentioned. Even in the Bible, it's mentioned. Jesus, peace be upon him, he said, I am not sent, but to the house of the lost sheep of Israel. Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, very well clarified that I have been sent to the children of Israel. He even sent, said to his disciples that do not go into the land, into the area of the Gentiles, meaning the non-Jews. Rather go ye into the lost sheep of the house of Israel, to the Jews, to the children of Israel. Let us now see what is the purpose of the last messenger then, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Ahzab, chapter number 33, verse number 40. وَلَكِنْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ But... He is a messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets, the last of all the messengers, the last of all the prophets. 
It's further mentioned in the glorious Quran, in Surah Anbiya, Surah number, chapter number 21, verse number 107. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we have sent you not, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, except as a mercy to the entire universe, to all the creations, mankind and all the others, some of them we may know and the rest we may not even know. Quran says that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is the last and final messenger and he is the one who has been sent to the entire mankind. None of the previous messengers have ever been referred as people or messengers or prophet who have been sent to the whole of mankind. And as we very rightly just now saw, even in the Bible itself, Jesus, peace be upon him, was sent to the children of Israel. Let us go further. If we look at the concept of the final messenger prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, some people may not agree with this opinion. But I would say, as the Quran speaks about a future messenger and says that that is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, even the previous scriptures spoke about that. As Allah says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157, those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find written with them in their scriptures, in Torah and in Jeel. Today, the Old Testament and the New Testament of the Bible. It's further mentioned in Surah Tussaf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes what Jesus, peace be upon him, said. Jesus said, according to the Quran, Surah Tussaf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, he said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum. Worship Allah, the Almighty God, my Lord and your Lord. And then he further continues and he says, and I am here to give you the glad tidings of another messenger to come, Ismuhu Ahmad, whose name shall be Ahmad. And let me inform you, Ahmad is another name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The similar message is even mentioned in the Bible. But before I go to that, let me introduce, let me inform, let me give the clarification to my audience here today that the status of Jesus, peace be upon him, in Islam. I say Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. We Muslims, we believe in the miraculous birth of Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. We believe that he gave life to the dead but with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers but with God's permission. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. In fact, no Muslim is a Muslim. If he or she does not believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. Let us now look at what did Jesus, peace be upon him, and the teachings that he brought say in the Bible. <laughs>